guys, welcome back to another video. More toys, more noise. Ryan here. It's that time of year. We're getting into the sled stuff, so we're gonna start the preseason maintenance. Got a lot of stuff coming up on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Good example is we're gonna be doing a uh, oil change soon. Gonna be doing chain case. Gonna be going through the sled, just uh, you know, checking bearings, all that sort of stuff, just making sure this thing is ready to go for the season. Um, but today's video is going to be ski alignment. So I'm going to show you how to do ski alignment. And also with ski alignment, we're going to align the track before we get to that as well. So um, again, thanks for tuning in, guys. It's good to be back. If you guys are new to the channel, thanks for tuning in. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Actually, now that we're on that topic, we are about 980 subscribers, so we're getting real close to a thousand. So you guys have the control. You guys can get me there. So help me out. Subscribe to the channel. Let's hit a thousand subs, and I appreciate it, guys. So anyway, let's get on with the video. For you guys that haven't watched the channel before, this is a 17 Articat ZR7000, so that's what we're going to do ski alignment on today. Uh, for everyone else who's watched the channel for a while, you know this sled and other things I've done to it. Like I said before, we're getting close to a thousand subs, so when I hit a thousand subs, I'm going to light this thing on fire. this thing on fire but it'd be funny wouldn't it anyway but I'll find something cool to do when we hit a thousand subs that's right around the corner anyway I was thinking guys before we start this video too I haven't fired this thing up in a while so let's uh let's fire it up see how she runs Show you how to start the uh, ski alignment um, you don't need a beer but if you want to grab a beer and let's get going first thing we're gonna do is make sure the tracks align because to align the skis we're gonna go off the track so we want to make sure that's aligned so a couple different ways you can align your track is uh, you can measure the distance between these lugs these these rubber lugs here and the slider so make sure that gap is the same on both sides. Another way uh, you can check too is uh, the windows at the back here. You can look, you can look into these windows back here and line up the rails. Whatever you guys like, whatever works for you. I'm gonna go by the spacing between the rubber and the uh, sliders. That's what I'm gonna do today. So. Uh, We'll start with that. Well, first thing we're gonna have to do is uh, loosen these off. Just get yourself a flat head and uh, pop this little rubber cap off. There you go. That'll expose the uh, bolt and you're just gonna pop the one off on the other side too and uh, loosen them off. Grab yourself an impact or a ratchet, whatever you're using and uh, 17 mil for this specific one. So back that out. It doesn't have to come right out, it just has to be loose. Same thing on this side. Our mills are Loctited in, so once we get the track adjusted, we're gonna apply Loctite back onto that bolt and drive them back in. Now that we got the fourth wheel kit loose, I want to uh, bring the track over this way. Here, this bolt right here. Tighten that up, and that's gonna push the track over to the other side. So we're just gonna tighten this up just a bit, and uh, should be perfect after that. Once your track looks like it's aligned, you can fire up the machine, spin it a bit, check it again. You can put it in reverse, uh, spin it a little bit, and then uh, have a look, make sure everything's still in line. And even if you don't have the fourth wheel kit, 
there's still going to be a bolt on each side on your rails. You're still going to want to loosen those off. Otherwise, they're never the wheels will not slide if this is tight. So like I said, my situation is uh, the track's too far on this side, so we want to send it over to the other side of the sled. So what I'm going to do, uh, so I'm using a 14 mil on this uh, bolt here. I'm just going to want to tighten this up just a little bit. You know that, and then now I'm going to want to uh, start the sled up, spin it a bit, and then I'll go ahead and check my alignment. Once my alignment's good, I'm going to tighten the wheels back up, and then we're going to move on to ski alignment. All right, guys, now that you have your uh, track aligned, we're going to go ahead and align the skis on your sled, find out what straight is, and then once you get it straight, I would recommend uh, maybe tying them down, locking them into the straight position so that way it doesn't really go anywhere on you. So now that you've got your handlebars straight, what you can do is you can use a measuring tape and measure from your bars to your bumper and have uh, the measurement the same for both sides. That means your bars are perfectly straight. And then what I did once I had measured, um, I tie strapped them in that position just so it won't move around too much. And then next thing we're gonna do is, per I can already see that my skis are kind of weird, towed in, all messed up. So who knows, I could have been from hitting something. I've hit a few things. So what we're gonna do is, um, in order to make these adjustments, you're going to have to remove this boot right here. Once you peel back this rubber, you'll see uh, the nut at the end of the tie rod there. Uh, that's what you got to get off. And then um, obviously the one on this end as well. So we're going to hopefully try to get a wrench in there. So this one you'll tighten to actually loose it off. You're going to tighten it. So I'm using a 16 mil and a uh, 14, 14 on the bar, 16 on the nut. And we're just gonna loosen that off. And then we're gonna try to get the one on the inside. There we go, it's coming off. All right, that's good enough. Just gotta loosen it off. So when you're done with this side, go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other side. Take off the rubber, pop those grommets out, and go ahead and get those two nuts loosened off. See, I have my pieces of aluminum down there. So what you're gonna wanna do is stick whatever you're using. Like I said, I got these pieces of aluminum. You're gonna butt them up. Make sure you put them tight against the track on both sides. And then you'll see um, it gives you a reference point. Now we're gonna make some adjustments. What you wanna do too is you wanna try to find you know two reference points so on these skis for me like you see the piece here is flat so that would be one reference point and then I'll go further to the back here and there would be another reference point back here um, so that would be my two reference points and the same thing on the other ski there find two reference spots on your skis like I said one in the back one near the front and uh, you're gonna measure your reference point at the front, the space between the ski and the bar, and then your space between the ski and the bar at the back of the ski. You'll do it on this side as well. And what you wanna do before you tow out your skis, if that's what you're looking to do, you're gonna adjust them so that they're both straight, and that is kind of your starting point. Your bars are straight, then your skis are straight, then you can do your adjustments. So I can see that my bars are straight, but my skis are kind of turning to the right a bit. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make adjustments to straighten these skis out. We're gonna spin this bar on the shaft, which is gonna push the back of the ski out and the front of the ski in. So using that and your measuring tape, you'll be able to make the space between here and the space between back here, your two reference points, to be able to make sure that they're even. That will mean your ski is straight. 
aligned with your bars that are also straight. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. All right, so now that everything's loosened off, you got your reference point. So I did my measurements on the front, measurements at the back. I could see I had way more of a gap in the front. So basically I just turned this bar counterclockwise and it's pushing the back of the ski out and it's pushing the toe in. So that's all you need to do. If you need the toe out, you're gonna go clockwise and the opposite's gonna happen. That's all you need to do on both sides. Get both those reference points to match. Your skis are straight. Then from there you can make the adjustments to have your toe out. We just got one side done, so we did the measurements and uh, these are curb excess skis. So if you have curved skis, the recommendation is one eighth of an inch toed out. So depending on what skis you guys are running, check online, call your dealer, see what their recommendations are for stock skis or whatever skis you guys are running, curves or CNAs, whatever they are. Look up the manufacturer's specifications on uh, ski adjustment and see what they recommend. Like I said, these curves, one eighth of an inch towed out. So that's what we're gonna do. When you get your ideal measurement, uh, you're going to uh, tighten both these nuts. The inside one here that you loosened and also the outside one. So once you've tightened everything, your ski adjustment's done and you guys are ready for the snow. And there you have it, that is ski adjustment for your snowmobile. So like I said earlier guys, uh, depending on what skis you have, you may have to uh, look up the specs. Again, these are curves, so I did the uh, one eighth of an inch towed out and that was the recommendation. Um, I learned a lot on this video um, because uh, I was having handling issues last season and actually when I did a ski alignment, I realized my skis were just way out of whack. So that was guaranteed what was my issue last year. So I'm um, really looking forward to getting out on it and um, we got a lot more videos coming ordered some new parts, we're gonna be doing an oil change, we're gonna be doing a chain case, bunch of other stuff, so stay tuned for that. Just wanna say thanks for watching, guys. Again, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, hopefully on the next video, we'll hit 1,000 subs. Thanks, guys, see you on the next one. with dangerous claws, movement she anticipates a side set on her prey.